This way, doing all these shows. I've been on the road, I don't care where I go. No. We're back, part four of the truck rebuild, or truck project, I should say. I don't want to call it a rebuild, although it feels like it. Today, we're going to be installing our uh, Slam Specialty Series 7 bags. We're going to be putting these ones in the front. Uh, I finally got the uh, Loctite 565. I uh, got this off of Amazon. I think it's like 10, 11 bucks. Um, I know typically a lot of guys they'll use the uh, uh, what is it like like the thread the pipe threading tape or uh, the yellow tape they use all that stuff. Uh, I was kind of unsure which route we were going to go, so I did a I did a bunch of reading and and I mean you, you know you go on the internet you get all kinds of kind all kinds of different stuff. So different opinions, different ideas. Um, when we got the bags, though, it specifically says right here, Loctite 565 is what they recommend. So if that's what they recommend, that's what we're going with. And like I said earlier, I couldn't find this stuff anywhere here, here local anyways. So got off of Amazon. I read up on this stuff. The only thing I kind of see that might be is kind of a pain in the butt is you have to let this stuff sit for 24 hours to fully cure and not have to worry about any... Uh, air leaks or anything like that typically that wouldn't be a problem but that means i'm gonna have to leave the truck up on jacks for 24 hours because if we lay it out can't get the jack out so we'll leave it up on the jack stands and i kind of wanted to do start maybe doing the door actuators but i don't know i don't i don't want to be getting out of the truck getting in and out of it too much with it on jack stands it just doesn't seem like a great idea to me so that's what we're going for today. I also got some blue Loctite just for the, the bolts that secure this to the truck. Um, yeah, that's, it's just my preference. I choose to use this stuff. I use it, I, I try to use it on everything. It, it goes a long ways and it's just really peace of mind. Uh, so that's where we're at. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. All right, all right, we're back. All right, so anyways, so the only thing that I might see that could be a problem is I don't know how the, the bolts there that are holding this bag in, if they're, I mean, if they're good shape, perfect. Uh, I just want to make sure that they meet the, the minimum spacing and stuff. So basically what it says is they want the bolt to extend into the bag 5 8 to 7 8 So we'll double check that and make sure that we're good on that. If not, we'll probably be running down and just get the right stuff. And probably just use a grade eight bolt. I'm on, and that's another thing too. I'm gonna check and make sure that we're using a good bolt in there. So, all right, that's enough of the BS. So we'll get over here to the truck. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it, get it up, and then we'll get rolling on this. Go ahead and hop it up. So this truck has those half, those half inch parkers. So you see how fast these things are. They're incredibly fast. So that's what we got for right now. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna get over there and start trying to get this thing up in the air and on jacks. You always want to keep one of these around when you got shaved door handles on a project truck. Alright, cool. Alright, so we got it up off the ground now. Uh, I went ahead and put, uh, I lifted up the back end, put some jack stands back there also so it's totally off the ground. And now we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the bags leaking because they got a... Uh, I think they got some leaks in the line or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. I haven't really messed with too much. We kind of already decided that we're going to do the AccuAir, so this is where we're at right now. So we'll get this stuff off, and then uh, we'll get into it. Cool. 
I'll take it off. All right, now you can get a good idea what we got going on in here. A lot of stress cracks just from sitting. You can see all right there too, even on the bottom here. As you can see, once we get in here too, you see a lot of the, a lot of the work that we got to do. You know, all this we got to paint all this, clean all this stuff up. You know, it just doesn't look good. Might be functional, but we want it to look good too. You know, even like this stuff too. We'll have to we'll have to clean all this up and get it all painted. Yeah. All right, cool. And let's go ahead and get the air out of the front bags. All right, we had a camera malfunction. Well, actually we just didn't turn the camera on. So anyways, what I did show you guys was this right here, this is the half inch line. It's got uh, Two bolts, two bolts right here that held it on. They are, they're just 14 millimeter bolts. Um, I just checked them out right now. They're, they weren't grade eight bolts. So we're gonna, we're gonna replace those and they were kind of galled up. I did notice uh, on the bottom, on the bottom here, we only got one 14 millimeter bolt. One. So I don't really like that at all. So it's kind of a good thing we're going through this to really see what we're dealing with. So that right there is going to get replaced. All right. So here's what we got. These are the bolts that were used. These are the two top bolts. Here's a third. This was on the bottom. So we had one bolt on the bottom. So now that I got in here, probably would have been smarter to take the airline off first. So kind of lesson learned. We'll fix it on the next, we'll do it different on the next one. All right, here you go. Definitely a mistake. See if maybe we could put this bottom one back in and it'll hold it enough.
looks like they used a paste. Looks like some some type of white paste on there. Yeah, you see how dirty that is right there. Definitely don't want that. It's, uh, this stuff gets in your valves, clogs your valves up, and then you just, just have issues. So let's get this one out right here. Slots, right slots smaller than mine, huh? Huh? Looks smaller than mine. My new one. No. Yeah, I don't even know what. I don't even see any brand marking on this one. I don't know if it's smaller or just because it's been compacted so long. Grab one of your. Grab, oh, we'll take this bag up there, I guess. Looks like this one. You could do two ports on this one. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Gosh, two ports, man, you'd be moving. So you can see, the bag sits, this side is the, the motor side. Am I right? Yeah. That was leaned over that side. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. It was leaned over that side, and that's where a lot of that stress was, right there. Yeah. Even on the bottom. Looks like it's been gouged. Wonder if we'll have to check and see if it's hitting something. Actually, on both these sides. Let's see, it sets like that. Let's see if there's anything on there. Yeah. What's it hitting? There's a little. Check this piece out right here. Let me see. So you can see the mark. The mark on that bag is uh, right there. Right. So when we line this stuff up, you could see that piece of weld sticking up right there. So we'll have to take a grinder to that. Take that piece off. Let's see, there's something on the other side too, right? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. There's another one right there. I don't know. You see, right? So there's the mark right there. And then, boom, there's a piece of weld sticking up. Easy enough fix. That's why, uh... Here, go and take this, buddy. So, take this. Oh. So, that's why when you pull this stuff out like this... You always want to give it a good inspection to kind of see what's going on and you know just see if you see any weird stuff you know and that's that's what we did so now we know that's that's a couple things we need to fix so let's take it over there and compare it to the sevens so i don't know a whole lot about them let me grab a tape measure we'll throw some measurements on them So measurement wise, uh, so almost five and three eighths, five and a quarter. So the so the mounting surface is just is about a sixteenth or so bigger on these ones. Um, let's see the bag itself. Just kind of guesstimate this. So yeah, it looks like a. It's a seven inch bag. It's so it's it's seven. Yeah, this one's about the same. So what is different though is I think this one has I almost want to say it was like another inch or maybe two inch more lift. Uh so it's gonna be kind of hard to measure, but you know, it just could be from it being compacted. But just visually looking at them, you know, the, the bag portion itself right here and here definitely seems to be bigger on both these. And that's, this is probably where they get a little bit more of the lift. Um, 
almost positive when I read on the uh, on the website that this has an internal bump stop in it. Um, I don't know if this one does. Lays, seems like it lays all the way out. And, uh, you know, bump stop is basically it's a it's a it's a internal piece on this. A lot of your a lot of the our all of our stock vehicles are going to have them. And it just keeps it, it keeps your suspension from comp compressing beyond its, its limits. So like in a case like this bag, if it doesn't have bump stops, like all of the, uh, all of the weight will lay this out until it's just totally pancaking the bag. Whereas when this one lays out, it, uh, it has an internal bump stop. Look, the big D wants to go for a ride. You go for a ride? Diesel, get out of there! What are you doing? So, yeah. So with the with the bump stop in there, uh, I, you know it's probably got more technical stuff in it. But having the bump stop bump stop when it does lay out, it would take some of the pressure off the sidewalls too. But I'm sure there's other reasons for it. So, what are we gonna do? So what we're going to do now is I don't want to reuse those bolts. So what we need to do is get some paper. Get a paper, pencil, and we'll take some measurements and see, see exactly how long of a bolt we need to get. Let's see what we got here. top bracket here looks like to me it looks like it's just a, a quarter inch bracket and yep. diesel oh my Please god man. so we got a quarter inch bracket here we'll have to account for the washer Washer. So we got a quarter inch, one quarter inch bracket. Uh, washers are like one sixteenth. So let's do, uh, see what we got here. So this, the bolt that was in there, looks like it's five. So if we we just take the uh, washer out of the equation, so we got five eighths. So five eighths minus a quarter inch is what? One, two, three, four. So it's about three eighths. So let's go see. Let's take both these bolts and go over here and see. So, 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 as you can see, can, can you see okay right there? Yeah, maybe come to the side in a little bit and I'll hold, I'll stay right here. Cool. Okay, so check this out. This is what we had. We had that in the, in the top. So we're supposed to have 5 eighths to 7 eighths uh, mounting depth. And I can see in there, that's actually a, that's a really deep hole. This one's even deeper. You can... I mean, that, that's almost an inch right there. So, this bolt right here, this isn't even the right, this isn't even the right size bolt. I mean, it's, it's not even close. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, you figure you got a quarter inch of bracket. So, and this is only five eighths. So, you only have three eighths left in there. So, yeah. From here up, that's what was holding the bag in. So that's just, that's not going to cut it. Not going to cut it at all. You know, 
in, in all reality, you that's about five eighths right there from the washer up. That's about five eighths. That's how much you should have, and they only had from about there up. So that's that's super unsafe. So that's another reason why we're really going through this truck and not just hopping in it and, and driving off. So I'll be willing to bet this right here, this bolt right here is probably what we need because you know that's just minimum is five eighths. You know, we can go up to seven eighths. So if we go right here, you got a seven eighths bolt, or you got seven eighths remaining. So we need to take a quarter inch off of that. So you got seven eighths, so you got one, two, three, four. So that so this bolt right here leaves us five eighths. So we could actually go a little bit longer than this. I me personally, I'd rather go a little bit longer. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We will we'll measure this bolt right here. This is a so it's a one inch bolt. So, so if we got a one inch bolt, let me make sure I'm doing this right. So if we're at seven eighths right there, I mean, we, we could probably go just over, because what I say, this right here, we take an inch or a quarter inch off, that's gonna put us at five eighths. So if we add a quarter inch, we'll be at one and seven eighths. So we'll get, we're gonna get us a one, one inch to one and one quarter inch bolt. That's what we're gonna look for, grade eight. Grade eight. So, we think, should we just, we should just do that, huh? And you know what else we need to get? We'll need to get us a wire wheel. All right guys, so we're, so we're at Lowe's right now. And what I wanted to show you was, like this is the bolt like what we had in the truck and this is a this is a super cheap bolt it costs 19 cents and it's basically the simplest bolt you have um what i wanted to show you was like here's the great great your grade five bolts so you can see right here typically they're going to have well it loads anyways they got one two three they got those three lines so you know if those got those three lines that's a grade five bolt and this is a half inch, but I'll show you. Like those cheaper ones were uh, 19 cents. These ones here are gonna be, where's it at? I don't know, I don't see it. But anyways, you can see they're like the one and a half right here is $1.68. So they cost a little bit more. So what we're looking to get right here is the grade eight. And you can see the grade eights. Can you get in here and see this or no? So your grade eights are gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, six lines. And and that's how they are here. I don't know if that's on all of them, but and these are the strongest ones. So you could see they're quite a bit more expensive. So these ones are $1.48 for two of them. So you're looking at like basically like 75 cents a piece. So I think what we'll do, this is actually three quarters the wrong size. So right here is the one inch and i think we're just going to go back with the same thing so we got two two for the top so and another thing too always make sure you're you're getting the right sizes because people come in here and they mix all this stuff up so we got two for the top two for the top two for the bottom two for the bottom and then three for the bottom so we got those three so we got two Four, six, eight, ten. So we'll need ten, ten washers. Might as well, might as well use the good stuff in these two. So looks like there's five in there. What did I say? We had ten. Mm -hmm. One, two, four, five. So ten. So we'll just need two of these packs. Three eighths. Three eighths. So that's it right there. So. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. And, that, and that's why, we, you know, like I said before, that's why we're going through this stuff. Because, you know, something like that, I mean, you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to be driving down the freeway. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I mean, it even tells you right here, look at right here. 
So it tells you right here, these are the strong, stronger, strongest is grade eight, grade five. And then this is what we had in the truck. So you had the kind of the kind of cheap bolt right there. You had the cheaper bolt. And if something like that breaks, you know, you know, my kid's gonna be driving in that truck. It's gonna go completely to the ground, you know, and you could do in 70, 75 miles an hour down the freeway. The last thing you want is to lay out on the freeway especially if it's on the front end or something like that, you know, it just spells danger. So, you know, these things are a couple bucks, you know, this might cost us 20 bucks, but it's a whole lot safer. So let's get out of here and get this thing together.